You guys, this is my favorite movie of the year. Oh, wow. Favorite movie of the year. Come on. All right. I swear. What are you I doing? Mean it. You say that to all the producer brothers. No, no, I don't. <laughs> How am I supposed to save the whole world? Why did you feel that Miles Morales was the, the story that you wanted to tell? Gosh, I mean, it, it just seems like a, a, a great um, uh, extension of the legacy of Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, writing a story about, you know, a, a middle class kid from Queens in the 60s is a really radical thing to try. He was like and, a nerdy teenager. Was yeah, and he's kid. not like, and he's little, and he's not qualified, and he doesn't feel qualified, and he thinks some of this is ridiculous, and he was just a regular person. And and they really, you know, Stan Lee's like legacy is to like really democratize this genre and and and, and this kind of myth making, and that's really important to us. And uh, and we thought that what Bendis and Pacelli did with Spider Man in the book was, you know, was so special. You mentioned Stan Lee. This is the first movie since his passing, and I thought his cameo was like so poignant and perfect. Um, <laughs> can you guys talk about what went into making that cameo as opposed to, you know, we see a lot of like gags and goofs, mm -hmm. goofs with this Yeah, movie, well, because this movie is so much about the logical extension of the thing that Stan created at the very beginning, uh, we knew we wanted to do something special with his cameo and not just have it be something off to the side where you're like, oh, there he is. Uh, we wanted it to be a moment that, that advanced the plot and was at a really emotional crux of the film. And when we came upon the idea that he would be where he is in the film, it seemed exactly right that he was passing on the legacy and, and we were honoring, uh, honoring him and all the things that he had done. And of course, when we screened this you know, for the first time at New York Comic Con in October when he was still alive, it was such a warm, happy cheer and, and, uh, and a laugh. And now it's all of those things, the laugh and the cheer, but it's also got this extra emotional quality to it that gives it this extra resonance and reminds you about, um, you know, his legacy, and we'll and we'll never forget about you it. You feel like also that like, you know, Stan is inviting Miles into this legacy, you know, which I think is like something that meant a lot to Stan and meant, meant, meant a lot to us. Did he get the chance to see the film? He did not. We did not finish in time, and and he was not feeling really well enough at, at that moment. Uh, but you know, we shared a lot of material with him when we went to record him, and um, and he was just thrilled with the idea that like. This thing he made so long ago has reverberated and right. echoed so many different interesting ways. 